Hi, my name is Mike Parody. I'm the Global Sales Manager for Ant Wireless. Many of you are aware of Ant Wireless uh, because of the Ant Plus Alliance and the sport and fitness uh, applications that are part of that alliance. We uh, have been successful for the last 10 years in star-based sport and fitness applications, um, but we'd like to today show you the ability to be able to branch out into much more complex networks uh, and provide some mesh and practical mesh solutions. Ant is built around battery to battery communication, uh, offering a very, very frugal power consumption for any complex network that you would like to develop. Today's application will show a shared channel, which is a channel that allows a single point to communicate with up to 65,000 different nodes and gather data from them, send control signals, and provide a very, very simple, yet really robust and very low power connectivity for lighting control for example. So today's example is a, a group of lights that we've um, enabled with this shared channel and they'll be uh, displayed on the display that we have here. This is a typical North American house layout and we've taken um, the lights that we have bought at our local um, uh, outlet and I brought them home, uh, powered them on, and associated them with various different rooms within the house. So as you can see on the application, we have um, a kitchen, three bedrooms, a dining room, a living room area, and a single washroom. So if we wanted to turn the light on in the washroom, all we had to do is pick it from the list and push the button and the light would come on. If we wanted to turn the light off, we could turn the light off from the locale or from the central control if we would like. If we wanted to, we could turn all of the lights on, all at the same time, or we could turn all of the lights off. So this shared channel is sending a message around to all of the lights, letting it know what status it needs to be in, monitoring its current status, and also monitoring the battery life. So you could easily have an application such as this on a PC, on a, a specially purpose display controller, such as an alarm panel in your home, or even on a mobile phone running on either Android or an iOS platform. All of these will connect directly to Ant, and we're very proud of the fact that we're the only mesh technology that resides on a cell phone. So if you want, um, we can show you how easy it is to add new lights to the program. So you've decided you to expand your kitchen and you wanted to add some lights to it. So you take the lights, you simply turn them on, and you'll see how they add to the screen. So the lights are being picked up. We're now up in the top corner here counting the number of lights. We have 15 lights and now we have our 16th light coming on. So we'll easily be able to go in and assign these to the kitchen through this application by simply grabbing each of the lights, picking from the list the kitchen, and now we have the lights associated with the kitchen. We have two lights on to there. We can turn them on or off at any one time. So they now have joined. We can go back and turn all the lights on, including the kitchen, and all the lights off. So as I said earlier, we do have the ability to be able to control the lights with a mobile phone. Um, that allows the user to be able to have its own remote control as they work throughout the house. So if you move from the kitchen to the living room, you have the ability to be able to turn all the lights on or all the lights off throughout the house or the specific room that you're in, as I said, the kitchen. You can turn the kitchen lights on or you can turn the kitchen lights off. This is truly a unique feature to Ant, allowing multiple masters to be able to control the slaves that are on the shared channel, having multiple displays, seeing the information at the same time. This is the flexibility that's required in today's home automation or industrial automation environment. So as we said, it's a shared channel, very simply done, uh, very inexpensive bills of materials, and the NRF 51 product from Nordic Semiconductor is the basis of all of this demonstration. So for more uh, information on a shared channel, how to implement this specific demonstration and or any other demonstrations you would like to get, go to www.thisisant.com and inside of the developer zone, you will find many downloads, including this one.